In this video, I'm going to be comparing the American Crew Fiber and the Fish Soho Fiber to see which of these is the best. Gents, welcome back to another hair product comparison video. In today's episode, it's the battle of the fibers. We've got two well-known brands and we're going to be seeing which of their products is the best. In the blue corner, we've got American Crew Fiber. Very popular, well-known brand. I included their molding clay in last week's episode of this and I told you how bad it was. So for today's episode, I'm going to be seeing if the fiber is actually any better. And in the red corner, I've got a slightly lower priced brand, at least here in the UK, Fish Soho. Their platinum fiber is one of their newest products. I'm going to be seeing if it actually works. So today I'm going to be putting both of these against each other to see how they perform in different ways and also whether they are good value for money. Let's begin then by looking at what these products actually claim to do. The American Crew product says pliable fiber with high hold and low shine and the fish fiber says firm hold super matte finish so very comparable to one another. Let's get straight to it. Let's see what these products look like and smell like. The American Crew Fiber comes in their classic screw lid tub. This one has got the light blue on it. It's got a picture of Elvis on the top. Generally, as I've said before, I really like the look of the American Crew products as a whole. Considering these are plastic tubs, they're pretty high quality compared to most. Really nice and thick and durable. The fish product is okay as well. It is predominantly black, which is the same as the American Crew. The shape of the container is slightly different. It's a bit taller, but slightly slimmer. I'm not sure whether it's the type of stickers or the colors that they're using. I don't think that it's as good as it could potentially be. I think that the shape of the product is unique, but for it to really be set apart from others, I think that the writing needs to be actually embossed onto the product or at least be sort of etched in. Because other than that, it doesn't really shout premium to me, even though the plastic feels good, the actual overall aesthetics aren't the best. But it does smell nice, lads. <laughs> Uh, again, I'm crap at pinning down smells. All I know is that it smells nice. And the same can be said again for the American Crew product. This is one of the nicest smelling of their range. So for the category of smell and packaging, the American Crew unsurprisingly takes the win here. I'm giving this one four out of five stars and the fish product I'm giving 3.5 out of five. Now we're gonna see which of these products is the best at coming out of the tub, into the hair, and then into the shape that you're looking for. The American Crew Fiber is one of the quickest products I've ever used at getting it out of the tub and your hair into the position that you want. The texture of the product is what you would expect from a fiber. It's somewhere between a cream and a clay. It goes into the hair absolutely fine, but once it's in the hair, you can get your hair straight into position. It's really, really effective. The fish product's also gonna get quite a high score here as well. The texture of this product is more like a paste, I would say. It's a little bit more creamy than the American Crew product. So it is slightly easier at getting through the hands and into the hair, but the control level with this isn't as good. The product dries out a bit quicker than I would maybe want, so sometimes you have to go back and reapply again in order to get it into the shape that you want. But generally, when you compare it to other products that I've tried, including those from last week's episode, it's still quite good at this. But the American Crew product is again gonna take this round 4.5 out of five, a very solid score. The fish product still got a good score here though of four out of five. Now we'll be analyzing how thick the hair feels with these two products in and also the height that you can achieve from using them. On the back of the packaging, the American Crew claims to provide added thickness. But what I've actually found is that the fish product actually makes your hair feel the thicker of the two. And if you're a guy that's got quite fine hair like myself or thinning hair, this could be important to you. The fish fiber definitely made my hair feel quite a lot thicker than it normally is. The American Crew was okay at this, but in terms of overall volume and density, the fish fiber was better, but when it came to the overall lift in the hairstyle, how high could my hair go, the American Crew product was better. You can see clearly from the images that my quiff height is definitely bigger, with the American Crew, it's a little bit easier to use. So for this category of volume and lift, it's gonna be a draw. I'm calling this one four stars each out of five. How do these products actually look in your hair? Well, both actually are very good. Both advertise a matte finish, you know, the American Crew says low shine, super matte from the fish fiber, and they both deliver. Barely any greasiness using either of these. They also both claim to add texture to the hair, and that's definitely the case. Both of these make the hair look exactly how I would want. There is that bit of texture and movement in the hair, but it's not 
all over the place like some of these messy products that I've tried before. I'm gonna give these both a really high score again in this round. I'm gonna go for 4.5 out of five for each. As a whole, I'm really impressed. This is the big round again for me lads here. Hold, I think is very important in a hair product. And the first time that I tried both of these products, I thought, you know, this is amazing hold, but actually, is it amazing? Not quite. I would say on the whole spectrum of hair products, both of these products do qualify as a high hold, but they're not quite as high as some of the products that I've tried before. If you want both of these to last in position all day on your hair, then you are gonna require some hairspray unless you've got quite thick hair. Luckily for both of these products, if the hair does start to droop, you can easily get it back straight into position and it's still got reasonable hold when you pull it back again. So overall, I'm gonna be giving both of these products Quite a good rating in this category, 3.5 out of 5. So what's the overall verdict gonna be? Which one of these two is the winner? Well, we've had quite a lot of drawn rounds, but the overall winner just about is the American Crew Fiber. It's achieved an overall score of 20.5 out of 25 with a fish fiber coming in just behind at 19 out of 25. In terms of my overall impressions of both of these products, um, I'll start with the American Crew. Uh, for me, this is their strongest product in their line at the moment. This one looks natural in your hair, it's got quite good hold, it's really easy to get your hair into the position that you want. Overall, a really solid product. And in terms of the leaderboard, this product scored really highly. It's actually tied in terms of overall score with the Hans de Fuca Claymation and the Peter Pedro Putty. Although a portion of that is made up by the packaging and smell, I would probably say this isn't quite on the same level, to be honest, for my repeated use as those other two products are. The fish product is really solid too to be honest it's not quite as good as the American crew product but um, for the price which we'll talk about in a second it's fantastic luckily for me fish sent me out a few of their other products to try as well um, and I'm happy to report that there's one that I found that's even better than this for the same sort of price that's their fish paste putty this is the hardcore hold one absolutely amazing for the price it performs very much like the fiber but it gives you slightly better hold slightly better volume as well i'd certainly recommend that one value ratings for the fibers these are going to be slightly different at the moment the american crew product is typically selling um, in most places between about eight pounds and 12 pounds and for that price point it's pretty good it performs as you'd expect for a product of that price point so i'm giving it a value rating of four out of five for this rating the fish product actually takes the edge because it's a really good product for quite a bit less money than the American crew. These products normally range in the about five to seven pounds mark. So you're looking quite a bit less than the standard that you pay for the American crew and you're almost getting the same result from the product. So if you're not a guy that's willing to spend over 10 pounds on a hair product, then I know you can get these fish products really easily from several drugstores in the UK or online and you get really good results for the money, better than a lot of the other cheap branded products. I'm sorry to tell you lads that this is gonna be the final episode of this show for the first series at least. Um, I wanna know how you guys have found this one. Um, I've had mixed reviews from some of you guys, so let me know in the comments section below. I may continue this for another series later on in the channel's life cycle. Hopefully this series has given you a bit more insight into a variety of products, many of which are the budget end as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a like down below. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see some more similar hairstyling videos just like this, I've got tons of tutorials coming up as well to give you different results with your hair, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. Also, turn on notifications so that you'll be basically informed every time that I upload a video because YouTube's been screwing over people recently. Things not showing up in the subscription boxes, so make sure you do that as well. And I'll see you guys on the next video.